Um, mm. Have they got any volcanoes in South Australia? Yeah. <laughs> what? Hang on, clearly they have. There's one happening now. Yeah. All right, we'll get up for this because <laughs> they, I thought they were lucky um, that they got the result, Fremantle, because I want to take you back to when Nat Fife did his hamstring against the Gold Coast. So this is, he missed one game, Nat Fife. Usually you'd, you'd miss three with a hammy. So questionable to pick him. And I just saw the images coming through on the AFL social media account. So this week, he's been out surfing with Mick Fanning, clearly a paid sponsored spot. Now, he's done a hammy a week ago out surfing. Now, I'm not sure how much he participated in the surfing action and how rigorous it was, but this is a week after doing a hammy. Now we'll go to the game yesterday. It was terrific in the first half, Nat Fife. He was absolutely sensational. 15 disposals to goal. But when the game's on the line in the last quarter, he's nowhere to be seen. You've got the best set of bounce clearance player in the competition, nearly, sitting at full forward. He had three disposals in the last half, only one in the last quarter. I hope for Fremantle's sake, I hope for Nat Fife's sake, there isn't an issue with that hammy. Because I reckon it's going to look pretty ordinary if you've got an issue, you've been out surfing. I don't get the obsession with AFL players having to do extracurricular activities during the season. You've got 15 weeks holiday at the end of the season to go surfing, to go wakeboarding, to do whatever you want. I'm not sure it's a great look for a captain coming off a hamstring injury to be surfing a week out from a hammy injury. A little bit harsh yeah. on him there, Kane, I think. Uh, he's obviously just doing a paid spot with Mick Fanning. And not everybody is like you. I yeah. understand that... Uh, when you were younger fine. at the pool, when the concrete was wet, you wouldn't run on it. But uh, Nat Five <laughs> did that there it... and, and likes to have a surf. So be it. If he does do his hamstring, that is up to Nat Five and the club to deal with. But the people have got to live their lives, Kane. Yeah, I understand. Do you, do you think it's strange, though, Brownie, uh, one week after a hammy to be out um, surfing in that? And, and is that something... And, Lord, oh, you're nodding in agreements with Brownie. Is that something that you would have done... <laughs> As a player, after you, you did a hammy, would you have well, gone he's playing, the He's playing week? footy. He's playing football within a yeah. week, so it couldn't have been too bad of a hamstring if he's but, coming back to well, play football. But Kane, he's had three disposals in the second but half. I still he thought he was in their in, best in four the players, Kane. And yeah. you know what? Andrew Bray, maybe it's the best thing for Fremantle because they've relied on Fife too much. And Andrew Brayshaw's had his best two weeks yep. in his career. Michael Walters, best mm. on ground. Yep. Uh, the coach Longmuir said actually it was just something he wanted to do. It had nothing to do with his hamstring. You might not believe that, but. Yeah, I think it's, a, it's extremely harsh on yeah, Fife as well. Yeah, harsh, harsh on the captain in particular, but to generalise and talk about footballers not being able to do anything in an extracurricular manner throughout the season, these blokes have uh, you know, gone away from their homes. They're set up in a hub. If they can't go and grab their surfboard and have a quick surf, I mean, what do you want them to do, mate? Well, I, I didn't say that they're not allowed to do other things. I just well, don't did. get the obsession with, 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 with extreme sports. In the middle of the season, TJ, like... If you're an American sportsman and you go and do that, you, you actually get your contract torn up. I, I don't get it at our... We're looking at Charlie Curnow, who's gone and played basketball. He hasn't played since. We've seen other incidents, which has completely derailed footballers' careers. And I, I just hope, as I said, I don't know how rigorous the surfing was. He may have just paddled out and it, mm. it might have been Kane, OK. Kane, does this all come back to the fact that when you went to the... Uh, well, look at the facial expression change. Oh. Does this all come back to the fact that when you went out to the wave pool at Tullamarine <laughs> and tried surfing, you just made a complete Couldn't deal yourself it. and now <laughs> you hate every surfer? <laughs> no, I don't hate anything. I just, as I said, <laughs> I, it's not, it, 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 no, it's my opinion, TJ, and it's yeah. not something I would have done. It's not something I would subscribe a captain of a footy club one week after doing a hammy and having three possessions in the second half and not going in the centre bounce. I, I think yeah. it's suspicious that he wasn't on ball when the game wasn't on the line.